we finally did it. People have been requesting a small flight controller for the micro drones. And instead of creating our own, we worked with Diatone and created something special. Uh, just keep watching. I'm going to tell you about it and show you a video and show you how amazing this little drone can be. So when we were in China, we decided to meet with uh, Diatone. We really liked some of the stuff they did and we're gonna do some more cooperation together. But one of the very first things we did was we uh, saw they were coming out with a new flight controller. Um, to be honest, we've been looking into doing some micro flight controllers for a while. We did a teeny whip board before, but we never were really satisfied with the performance of it. So we never finalized that project. And we've been looking to get a new board done for a while. Um, one thing we realized is they had a great design on the new board that hadn't hit the market yet and we decided to work with them on this new drone to get Falco X working on their board and doing some special stuff. Uh, this drone honestly flies amazing. It's, it's one of the most impressive ones that I've seen to date. The new board they had coming had two issues. One, it used an F411. It needed to use this for size. It's a very small MCU. Uh, the other is it uses um, an MPU 6000 gyro, uh, both of which kind of, you know, we're not, we're made for 32 kilohertz. That's been our thing forever. And we had to figure out a way to make eight kilohertz fly as good as possible at the same time as using these gyros. Now, this is our first iteration in these microcontrollers. We actually have since found an amazing new processor, which will be put on a board in the future. Uh, but this gives us a good cheap, like basically bind and fly that anyone can buy, or they can buy the flight controller and uh, flash it and put it in just about anything. Um, if you guys have one of these existing ones, uh, we came up with an idea. Basically, we made it so you can license Falco X because uh, it was a lot of work to get it working on it, honestly, and um, hopefully you can give back a little by you by licensing it. Uh, it's going to basically verify the serial number of the board, so you just you know spend 15 bucks. It puts the board in our database and then you'll get the new uh, Falco X version that's made specifically for this. It's pretty exciting. This uh, board and this quad flies amazing. Up to now, I've never had a micro quad that I thought flew well. This one flies just almost just like a five inch quad. And I know um, with the new FAA regulations, everyone's freaking out because they're worried about their, their, their drones being over 250 grams and not being able to fly it. And this kind of gives me a little hope that even if something does happen and we can't easily fly our heavier quads, uh, we can still do some amazing things with some micro quads. Um, I hear the, I'm going to show. Uh, so basically this is for pre-order on our site. Um, basically we're going to open orders for a couple of days. We actually already have some in stock. So the first guys to order, we're going to get the ones currently in stock. Anyone, once stock runs out, they're making us ones now. They're going to be about a week before they can ship them out. But we need any orders to be put in in the next few days. If they're not, uh, we're not going to hit the Chinese New Year cutoff to get more produced. Uh, so make sure you get your orders put in right away. If you happen to already have one of these or if you bought them from another retailer, like I said, uh, you can click the link. It's attached to this video in the descriptions. And you can get the license yourself and set up that way. Uh, setting these things up are amazing with the new Falco X. Basically, all it does is you plug in your receiver, you uh, turn on your radio, it detects it, you move your sticks around, and you're ready to fly. It comes pre-flash, pre-set up for the tune for, the, for this new drone. And um, if it's another one, some of the other tunes work great as well, and we're going to keep updating that as time goes on to give better tunes. Um, if you're new to this, this is like by far the easiest way to get in flying. You don't have to worry about RPM filters or any of that crap. This will guarantee fly better than Betaflight out of the box and it's super simple to set up. Um, so when you get this thing, here it is, it comes basically with everything but the receiver and the battery. It, we actually, this is a special edition. This isn't the one that they normally sell. Uh, we had them do some upgrades to make it fly better. Some of these you can do yourself if you already have one. Um, and some of these, uh, it's gonna basically come this way if you buy the one. In general, if you already have one of these, one thing you can do is put some nuts on the stack screws. You basically want to make those very stiff so they don't move around uh, and then put everything back on it and that'll help it fly better. This one, of course, comes with a red canopy um, instead of an orange canopy. It's our color. And these come pre-flashed with Falco X if you get them from our site. 
and they're already set up, activated, and ready to go. Uh, you basically have this little wire here. You plug in a receiver. Um, here's a crossfire receiver. It's really simple. I have it pre-set pre up, pre-wired with this little connector. I can just plug it in here. Um, and then basically push it in there and jam it in there and, uh, and have it set up underneath the camera. If you want, you can cut the wires, solder directly. It works with just about any receiver. It comes that way. So it's a pretty easy setup to get going. Uh, one thing to note, these are set up to use reverse props as well. Um, so make sure you put them on in reverse because we noticed that flies better. Uh, and so that's why we're using reverse props. Uh, it has a longer battery strap, has a, this amazing frame, the motors. It also comes with the gem fan props, the three blades, which fly way better than the ones they normally come with. Uh, and it should have longer screws as well to fit the props. And it's basically uh, an amazing little quad. Uh, what I'm going to do is show you some video now of it flying, show you how amazing it flies. This is basically bone stock. We didn't tune this. Um, you can see the one I'm using to do this. Uh, it's right here. It is the one in the videos is this one. It is very, very, very beat up. You can see these props uh, just look chewed to hell. Some of them don't even have their tips. They're bent down. Um, and it still flies amazingly smooth. And uh, we really outdid ourselves with some special tech that basically emulates 32 kilohertz using an eight kilohertz uh, gyro uh, and a slower processor. So uh, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments, but uh, let me show you some flying footage. Just gonna show you a little flying here. One thing I'm amazed about is uh, there isn't a whole lot of pop wash, but look at the recovery on that. Look how quick Falco X was able to recover. Uh, part of this is the reverse props that really helps with that, but also uh, it just may have some pretty good recovery code in there now. Uh, keep watching the video or you can fast forward through this and I'll show you how easy it is to set up the end of these flight videos. Uh, let me show you a couple other things, but you can see there's really not a whole lot of prop wash, which is super surprising for a drone of this size, especially for us running a slower megahertz or kilohertz as well. One thing, don't worry if you crash. Uh, Koopa mode, which is our turtle mode, works as well. You can see we're gonna go in here and set it up right in the field. One of the amazing parts about Falco X is the fact you can do everything in the OSD. So we just go ahead and set up a switch and we can Koopa right over. All right, so now that you saw a few flight videos, uh, we're gonna show you how easy it is to set this quad up. Like I said, it comes, you just plug in your receiver. So the first thing you wanna do is get your receiver, um, depending on if you're using uh, Crossfire or Spectrum or whatever, you just plug it in. And then you wanna download the new configurator. All right, so we just need to go to our website. Uh, you wanna click on Downloads. And then you want to click on the alpha link. Vacuax alpha firmware slash companion is where you want to go. Uh, we're on Mac OS, so we're going to pick the Mac OS configurator. So we're going to go ahead and click that and let it download. You're going to have to click allow to tell it to download from the website. Once you've downloaded that, you're going to look for the DMG file inside the directory. So we're going to go to Downloads and Falco X Configurator Installer is right there. So just double click on this and it should open up another window with the files inside. So just go ahead and drag the Falco X Configurator and Applications. This will install it. Um, now you can just go to your applications, double click on the Applications link and double click on Falco X Configurator to open it. Uh, the instructions for Windows are similar to this. It's gonna install it as well, and you're gonna go to your you know, start menu and open it from there. 
So once you open it, it's going to pop open a window. It's going to ask you, uh, is it okay to run this? This was downloaded from the internet. You click open. And once you open it, it'll pop up the window and you can go ahead and plug in your quad now. Now you don't need to do this um, if you bought one from us. It's going to already come flash. It's going to already come set up. You don't even need the configurator. You can just plug in your battery and look on your goggles and the OSD is going to be uh, coming up on the screen and ask you to do what you need to do to set it up. All right, so if you got this board from us, you don't need this to do this step, but if you got it from someone else um, and you need to get a Falco X license for it, you're gonna use the serial number on this screen. So you're gonna to have to send us this when you get the license to activate it. Uh, you just wanna cut and paste that to the notes when you order on our website. You can go to shop.flight1.com. Uh, it'll be linked and you can get the license there. So because this bootloader is slightly out of date, the first thing it's gonna want us to do is update the bootloader. Uh, so basically you're gonna hit this update button and it's going to update the bootloader uh, automatically. If you're on Windows, this point it's gonna go into DFU mode. Um, if you need a driver, you might have to open Zadig or the Impulse driver fixer or whatever and fix your DFU driver so it flashes successfully, but it, it, you can see it worked fine. So now from this point forward, uh, it's gonna look just like it looks in the goggles. So it emulates the OSD in this application through the USB, so you don't need to put in your goggles. But if you are, you know, not using the app, obviously you're going to see the same thing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to power up the quad. I'm going to have to plug in power because this board needs power to run. And I'm going to make sure my radio is on and I'm going to make sure my receiver is plugged in. It's bound. The light's green. I'm using Crossfire, so I'm making sure the light's green. And there you go. It detected it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move my arm switch to let it uh, know which switch I want to use for arm. Going to move the sticks in circles for two seconds here, uh, just so it gets the full resolution of the sticks. Uh, it's uh, Now I'm going to make sure the quad is flat. I'm going to center the throttle. Now once we move the throttle to the bottom, I'm going to yaw left. I'm going to move pitch back down. I'm going to roll. I'm going to put the arm switch in the arm position and confirm with roll right. And there you go. That's all you have to do to set this up if you bought it from us. If you didn't, it's gonna ask you some other questions because it's not gonna know the orientation or the motors and all that kind of stuff, but it's gonna figure all that out for you. You can see this is super simple. It cannot be any easier for someone new to get into this, and it can't be any easier if you've been in it forever and you just don't wanna mess and you just wanna fly. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put the props on, make sure they're in the right direction for reverse prop direction. I'll show you an image of that here. Uh, just make sure they're on in this fashion. Um, we recommend these three blade props, they fly the best. And then from there, you should be golden to go out there and, and let her rip.